Matrices, Introduction. You will find this on page 554 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Matrices. A matrix, the plural matrices, is an array of numbers like this. In brackets, okay, this, is, this one has two rows, so this is the rows, let me just highlight it nicely, two rows and three columns. Did you notice? First the rows, then the columns. Matrices have wide applications in the field of pure mathematics, statistics, engineering, as well as physical and social sciences. A computer main board, also known, known as the motherboard, contains thousands of logical circuits that perform calculations. These circuits can be represented by rectangular arrays of numbers, known as matrices. The following table shows the number of science textbooks of different publishers in a school book room. Publisher A, okay, Publisher B and Publisher C. And it's Mathematics, Biology, Physics and Chemistry there. We can extract the data from the table and arrange them in rows and columns within brackets to form a matrix as shown below. You can leave out the headings if you know what they are. So basically we just rewrite that inside. So remember this is the columns and this is the rows, but always first mention the rows. There are three rows across and four columns down. Thus we say that the matrix has an order of three by four or it's a three multiply four matrix. Okay, so in the place of the by you can also put a multiplication sign. Note, first write the row number and then the column number. Let's just move this away. Move it a little bit up. In general, a M multiply N matrix refers to a matrix having M rows across and N columns. So first the rows, then the columns. Its order is hinge M by N or M multiply N. The numbers within a matrix are known as its elements. We usually denote the names of matrices with capital letters which are printed in bold or underlined. So don't make it bold if you rewrite it, just underline it. It indicates that it's bold. Okay, let's look at an example. State the order of each of the following matrices. Now remember, first the rows. So let's just put the highlighter. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3. There's the 3. Multiply 1, 2 or by. Doesn't matter. This is 2. Multiply 2. Okay, remember the rows. 1, 2, 3. And the columns 1. And then this one. Okay, the row just 1 but the columns 2. Two. Okay. Stop the video. Let's just move it a little bit. Let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, there it's. Okay. Uh, stop the video and do try now one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Let's start with number A. Remember. First count the rows, so 1, 2, so it will be a 2 by, I'm going to use both um, ways of writing, now I'm just going to say it's a 2 by, and it's just 1. If I look at number B, look, count the rows, it's a 2 by 2. Number C, um, I can actually write this one, um, yeah. I'm just going to do it like this. So it's two rows by, and it's one, two, three columns. Number D, I'm going to use the multiplication now. So it's one row multiply two columns. Number E, okay, let's just make it F.
can okay then it's easier just to write it in so number e so there's only one row can you see but if you count the columns one two three four can you see so it's a one multiply four number f how many rows one two two and how many columns one two three four number g how many rows one two three four and how many columns? One, two, three. Okay, number H. Um, how many? Okay, just take note. It's points. So one, two, three, four. But because of the points, it's just one column. So it's a four by one. Number I. Oh, can you see? It's just one row and one column. So it's a one by one or more one multiply one number j i'm going to use the other one now it's one number can you see there's not spaces but the rows is two so it's a two by i'm using the other way two by but there's only one column and then this one there's two rows and how many columns one two three four and then this one how many rows are there? There is one row. And how many columns? One, two, three, four, five. And that's how you name matrices. Or how you write down the order of matrices.